Yeah, I was going to ask you about um, the collaboration with Mark Ronson. I remember really enjoying the bike song when it came out. Uh, how did all that come yeah. about? Uh, Mark was Mark was a friend of mine because we when we first I think he signed to Sony at the same time as as the View or or that that record collection record no not record collection one before that versions was out. So we always used to see him around the, the office and at the parties and stuff. So we became friends and then. Uh, but we used to always talk about doing, doing, doing stuff. And then when um, Ava Winehouse didn't turn up one night for a, for a show, and he phoned me and says, could you send Valerie? And I was I'm good friends with the Zootons and that. And I was like, well, I know Valerie really well. And he was like, well, come do it. So I'd done that. And then after that, he was like, well, I've got a great response for it. And then we kind of we kind of became really close after that. And then we were in, we were recording a, one, two, what was it? Bread and Circuses, our third, third album. And then he was like, I'm going to, he was in London. He said, I'm going to drive to, to Liverpool and see I've got this song I want you to sing but he wouldn't send me it he was like I just want you to come here so he drove to Liverpool and we, we recorded it and that, that night in the studio and it's funny because like, I, I mean it, we toured, we toured that, that, al- that album for, for like maybe four four years like on and off like there was like sometimes it was three months at a time sometimes it was a couple of weeks but I do that in between with the view I like so, and some of the stuff it was like um, and I was actually listening to that the other day when he listened to the full record and it's like on the on the single version it's just like uh, the, the song just finishes the big song but then on that the, on, on the album version I, I completely forgot it was like that but it's like I'm doing this big thing and then going ah, you know, ah, nah. and he, he kept on the album like uh, me just like going ah, nah, nah. <laughs> just like talking shit and it goes on for like a minute and I was like why the fuck do I keep it on the album but he's like, oh, that's the best part. That's the best part. It was like the best part of what the song. But he's like, no, he's like, just because you were making no sense. But I thought, to me, you were making sense. No, he was like, to me, to you, I thought you thought you were making sense. So I was going to let it run. And then it, it turned out that it just sounded great. And I was like, have you listened to it? It does not sound great. It's pure nonsense. It's like gibberish at the end. And it just goes on. And it's so mixed. The, the song ends up going on for like six minutes because I'm just going, oh, no, no, it's good. But yeah, but uh, yeah, so that's. Um, that's how that song came about, yeah. But it was cool, man. I mean, the, the, I used to do others, I used to do that Rod Stewart song, that every day I spend my time drinking wine. We used to do loads of stuff like that, it was cool. Oh, nice uh, one. Yeah, that was good times, yeah.